so now we want to have the 2D footprint in this case. So 2D footprint is a triangle. Yeah, so Z equals to, we'll get that. If you take the 2D footprint, theta is fixed. And then when you look at fixed theta, you see that it's a triangle. So it's a triangle here. This is your region D. The bottom of this triangle is Z equals to, you can see that it's Z equals to R. And this is Z equals to two. So in this case for the 2D plan, so part two for 2D integration, we can have Z between, so Z goes from R to two and R goes from zero to two. So in this case, we have Z first, all right? And our integral will look like, so in this case, let me just write down E again. So E is cylindrical. Is R theta Z. Your theta goes from zero to two pi. Your R goes from zero to two. And Z goes from R to two. So in that case, we get our integral I is zero to two pi for theta. So again, the volume element is R D R R D theta first because theta is going first. Then the next one is Z. Z goes from two to R, so D Z and then R goes from zero to two, dr. And then what are we integrating? The function we are integrating is given by x square plus y square, which is basically R square. So we have integration of R square. So let's integrate this. So we have zero to two, this R will come all the way out. So we have R cube. Here we have integration of D theta zero to two pi D theta. And then we have integration of Z, which goes from zero, sorry, which goes from Z goes from R to two, not two to R, okay? So Z goes from R to two, right? So. So Z goes from R to two. We wrote it down there, but there's an error here. So R to two. So R Z goes from R to two. And then this, whatever we get, then we have to take dr as an integral. So this will be zero to two R cube, two pi. This will be Z times two minus R dr. And if you notice, this is exactly the integral we had here. And hence the integral is 16 pi over 5. So in this case, however, we had z first. So you notice the order of integration is theta zr. Now again, in this 2D plan itself, so we can have two in this case, we can have another option, star. What about R first? And then Z. So how do we go about this one? 
So again, we have to change. So we only have to change the plan for 2D integration. So then we are doing Z. In that case, we have R. So Z goes from, so R goes from zero to Z. That is a bound on, right? So, and then we have what? We have, so why is that the case? So notice the following, R is a distance from here, right? So at any point in this triangle, you are not exceeding, the Z is a maximum distance, right? So we have Z goes from, R goes from zero to Z and Z goes from zero to two. In that case, I would be again, in that case, for Z, we have zero to two. Let's write DZ at the end. Then for R, we have uh, zero to Z. So, yeah. Then, for th then we have for theta, we have zero to two pi. So, theta. And then what is the and then R because of the volume element. So this is your dB and then you're integrating R square. Right? So let's compute this integral and see if we get the same answer, we should. So again, first let's take D theta, zero to two pi will give me two pi. I'll keep that outside. Then I have zero to two, then I have zero to Z, dr, dz, r cube. So in that case, we get two pi r to the power four by four, zero to two, sorry, zero to two. And then we have here zero to z dz, dz taken, now we have r. So this is going to be two pi, zero to two, dz is last, right? So zero to two dz, and that is going to be, so this is z to the power four by four dz. And then we get two pi by four z to the power five by five, zero to two. Then in that case, we have two pi by four times two to the power five by five. So this will go to 16 because we have pi by two times 30 divided by pi by two times 32, which is 16 pi by five. So you see that we get the same answer, all right? No, not a surprise though, right? thanks.